Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. Today's project, I'm going to be creating some miniature antique style medicine bottles out of polymer clay and then creating a silicone rubber mold and then creating some UV resin casts of that mold. Uh, Let's Resin sent me some silicone rubber for mold making and I thought this would be a great project to try it out. So here are my um, polymer clay cat uh, originals and then I'll be making some some molds of those. Here I'm just adding some clear coat UV nail gel over the top so that I have shiny bottles because the polymer clay is not shiny so you have to add something to make it make it shiny. So stick around till the end of the video guys for a bonus project at the end. I did a second silicone mold and did a little project with that. So stay tuned to the end, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to throw some music on and you can see the process. Okay, so Let's Resin contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try their silicone rubber uh, for mold making and I was like, yeah, I'd like to try that out. So I'm going to be using this to make a little mold of the little bottles and we're going to try out this, this, uh, this silicone. So it comes in two bottles, a part A and a part B and you mix them together and you pour them in and hopefully create your mold. And I'm pretty happy that they sent me this because um, I haven't used a clear silicone before to make molds. I've only used Mold Star 15. So, um, you know, you can't use Mold Star 15 with UV resin, which is what I want to use for these little bottles. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. Okay, so anytime you have a two-part uh, resin or two-part silicone, you always got to read the labels and it will tell you what the ratio is. Either one to one, one to two, one to three, and some of them go by volume, which is, you know, measuring it in your measuring cup, and some of them go by weight. This goes by weight because the different parts can weigh different amounts. You have to make sure that you're doing it by the instructions on the bottle, otherwise it won't turn out right. So. Luckily, this one is part one, one A to one B. That's a one to one ratio by weight. So I've got my little um, little scale, a little mini scale like this is pretty handy to have on. So I'm gonna turn it on. I've got a little plastic container here that I'm gonna use to mix the silicone in. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna hit tear. Okay.
have these little caps in so don't end up spilling while they're in transit. Alright, so let's try to do this. when I put this UV resin, um, UV uh, clear coat on the top, I guess I didn't get it uh, cured all the way. So the first, uh, the first mold that I made came out, um, the insides were not cured. So I had to scrap that one and make another one. And this one turned out all right. So uh, basically the same process as the first one. So I am just making some, I made up some little clear bottles. You can see, I really love how this one turned out. Super cute. Looks like a little miniature medicine bottle, antique medicine bottle. So those turned out. Now I'm working on making some blue ones. Did this one as a little test and thought it was really cool. So, you know, cobalt bottles were very popular in the old days. So that's what I'm doing now. And I think I might try to make some amber ones as well. So all I was doing is putting out some resin. I'm grabbing some um, some liquid uh, resin uh, coloring and uh, just adding a little bit to the resin and mixing it up. It doesn't take much of that stuff for this at all. Get it too dark. It's possible, you know, too dark, too thick. Uh, it's possible that the resin won't cure because if you're using UV resin and you've got a really dark colored resin, then the light can't get to the center of the resin. Which so what will happen is you'll get a shell all the way around the outside that's cured where the light can get to, and the center will stay goopy and gooey because the light can't get to it because it cures through the light. So. If you're ever using UV resin and you come into that problem, that's why um, the uh, translucent um, dyes and colorants, they work better than, say, mica powder is really bad about blocking your UV light with your uh, UV resin. You can use it, definitely, but uh, sometimes it'll cause that problem. If you've got too much, you can just only use it very sparingly. So. Put it in there for 90 seconds. 
Okay, we've got that cured. So I did it on this side for 90 seconds and I flipped it over and did it on this side for 90 seconds. So let's see. Too cute. Look at that. That's how cute that is. So very cobalt. You can see how see through it is. It's like really cool. That's awesome. How uh, swirly this one turned out. You can't hardly really see it on the camera, but you can see it in person. It's like there's a little mass in there, like, like there's something in that bottle. <laughs> Cute! Some of these edges will have to be cleaned up just a little bit. Put a little nail file on those and they'll be just fine. So yeah, nice little mix of uh, miniature bottles here. I think those are going to go well. And um, I found some little um, anti-medicine labels online that you can print out. And so I just shrank those down and I'm going to be making some little, uh, little labels for the bottles. So these, I tried to make like um, amber bottles, and then I tried to make the bottom half a little bit darker so that it would look like there was something in it, so it kind of has this uh, ombre effect, but I uh, tried to make a straight line across, but I don't think my darker color was quite dark enough to make that happen, but it still kind of looks like that, that effect that I was going for, so, so I get some little labels on there, and then be neat. Okay, so I've got all my labels on my bottles and now since they're so skinny they have a hard time standing up even though they have flat bottoms. The tiniest little knock and they can fall over but uh, yeah so I'm going to make some little sets. I'm just going to take a little bit of this um, UV resin and just make a very thin little pool and I'm going to take these and set them up set for 90 seconds. Okay, so if those are cured, they'll just peel right off. If you do it, you have to do it on a silicone mat. But when you pull it off, it'll leave behind some uncured resin because the light can't get to the bottoms. So you need to cure that bottom part. I'm just going to uh, prop these up next to a silicone um, mold. My light back over here. Cure that for another 90 seconds. All right. Once that's cured, there will be a little bit around the edges, and you can just, you know, because it's such a thin layer, you can just go around with your scissors and clip off any excess bits that you don't want to show.
flip that off. And we got some little clusters of bottles. We got a little cluster of bottles here. And the little doctor cabinet that I made in my last video. This is another little cluster I made. Kind of a cute way to uh, put them all up there. You've got lots and lots of little medicine bottles. 